want to welcome in Cooper Moss. He is a rising sophomore at Arnold High School. Pitcher, two-way player on the baseball team. Had a fantastic freshman season. Third team All-State. Phenomenal on the mound. Welcome, yes. Cooper. Yes. Great to have you Thank in you here. Thank you for having me. So, obviously, a fantastic freshman season for you. The expectations were very high. For anyone who doesn't know, you committed to the University of Florida as an eighth grader. That, I mean, as it is, just puts a lot, the, sets the bar high, a lot of expectations on you. When you came into the freshman year, did you feel like there was a lot of pressure to kind of live up to that, you know, that hype of, I'm a, I'm a college commit and I got to come out here and perform. What was that pressure like for you? You know, it was really tough. Um, you know, honestly, going into my freshman season, I really didn't know what to expect. You know, um, I didn't really know a lot of the seniors. And, um, you know, I didn't know how they were going to treat me, how, uh, you know, I committed early, even before I stepped foot on my high school campus. Um, you know, I really didn't know how they would treat me, so um, I tried to adapt as much as I could. And they really responded much. I did not expect them to respond like they did. And they really, uh, we gelled together as a team really well. And, um, you know, my motto is pressure is a privilege. You know, you work yourself to that situation for a reason. And, um, you know, you play with pressure and you do that for a reason. And uh, I think I actually uh, feel like it's an achievement to actually put myself in that situation. Okay, and you know, freshman year, third team All-State, like I mentioned, you know, you did a great job on the mound, right-handed pitcher, and also hitting as well. You had a, you know, 390 batting average, 32 hits, 38 RBIs, I got eight doubles, two triples, six home runs. So you did everything hitting and then also fantastic on the mound. Just kind of talk about that and just getting out there and putting on a show, whether it's on the mound or, you know, with the bat. What is kind of your mindset when you come in of like, hey, I just got to get out there and perform? You know, honestly, when I pitch, my all I try to do is just throw strikes. You know, I don't try to be too perfect or be, you know, throw a certain pitch, you know, directly where it's supposed to be at. You know, I just like to throw strikes, you know, let them hit it. I mean, it's high school. I mean, I got a good defense behind me. I mean, they know how to play the game. And I think if I just trust my pitches and what they do, I think uh, the outcome can be really good. And, um, you know, when I hit, I think just hit the ball hard. You know, I just try to keep it simple. I don't try to do too much because, you know, if I do too much, I get out of my mechanics a lot. So I think just hit the ball hard, you know, how to hit it on line drive. And uh, home runs just come when, come when they want, you know. I mean, if you hit it hard enough, I think I believe it will go over. But, uh, you know, just try to hit the ball hard, as hard as I can. And you mentioned, or we talked about this past season, a historic year for Arnold. I mean, yes. you guys broke the program win record, got to the playoffs. Big accomplishment was sweeping Mosley because yes. Mosley has kind of been the top dogs in Bay County for a while. You sure. guys' first season sweep ever is the first time beating them since 2015. Just kind of talk about that. Do you feel that Arnold at this point is kind of the top dogs of Bay County? You know, I really do believe that. Um, you know, I think going into last season, you know, we didn't really have that much positive momentum going into the season. You know, we didn't really didn't have that good of a year last year or two years ago. But uh, I think the new coach really helped us this year. And, um, you know, it was a really big accomplishment for us, especially the first time we beat them uh, at home at our place. You know, I think it's probably the most fans we've ever had at a baseball game. And, um, you know, we played with a lot of pressure. And like I said, pressure is a privilege. I think we really decided to uh, achieve that game. And um, the first time and the second time. You know, I really think we really wanted that game. I mean, it's two really good baseball teams playing against each other. And, um, you know, it was a really, really fun game, I think, for both of us. And just talking about that matchup in particular, Mosley, obviously some great players over there. Half their team yes. is going to be playing at Gulf Coast this sure. upcoming season. And just talk about, you know, we got to look at the walk-off at Mosley. Would yes. you say that's your favorite moment of freshman year, or do you have a certain moment from this past season that's like that that is the one that is the best moment for you know, my freshman season my uh going into the season we played mostly pretty early i think the first or second week that we played them um i think pitching against them you know i had to hit the second game and i did pretty good pitching the first time i think the pitching really uh you know i did pitch 11 strikeouts that game but i also had a uh, two run double single two run single and um put us ahead in the fifth or sixth inning but I think pitching was really fun. Um, you know, as pitching, I think I can control the game. I control the pace of the game. And, um, you know, I really take that in my hands and I try to succeed. So Arnold had a lot of seniors this past year, a lot of talented seniors going off and playing at the next level. Yes, sir. But 
a pitching staff that's going to be returning. You guys basically have your core group returning. You know, the two freshmen and then Ethan and Eli, all three of you will be back next sure. year. Just that alone, do you feel like Arnold right off the bat is considered a threat to make a deep run just purely off of that pitching staff? 100%. I really think uh, last year's team really set a standard for what we should have for the upcoming years. I think we should set uh, goals, you know, like what we did this year and um, try to succeed them. But especially the pitching staff this year, I really am a impressed with what we've done you know we have a really good uh, pitching coach David Pedro and uh, he's done really really good with our program and um, I think this year is going to be really good. And you mentioned at the beginning that when you came in as a freshman you're not quite sure you know how these older guys are going to respond right. to you know hey the college recruit coming in you know he thinks he's the b big shot coming on campus yes, but sir. a lot of the seniors this year were telling me hey like Cooper he fit right in it's almost like he's another one of the seniors coming yes. in as a freshman you know and I got to think back to a moment this season where I think it was Warwick Wilmot told me hey Cooper he is the Shohei Otani yes, of high school yes. baseball obviously you know a, a great quote a great thing to you know say who would you say that you model your game after whether it's you know a major league or college guy who is it that you try to model your game after you know I uh, I wore the number 18 for Ben Zobrist he was a big Christian you know he always put hella, had a lot of faith in the game um, he's always been my favorite player since I started being a Rays fan you know he played for the Rays when I was about seven or eight years old and I wore the number 18 ever since and for you, what is your ultimate goal in baseball? Because I know right now, eyes are on college because you're already committed to the University of Florida, but you still have a, three more years of high school. What is your ultimate goal? Do you want to make it to the league? What is just the ultimate dream with the game of baseball? Um, you know, after high school, I really want to go to college. I think college would be really fun, but uh, one of my goals is going first round, being a first rounder. I think I can achieve those goals. I think uh, I can work hard enough. You know, I think I can do what I want to do and pursue those dreams. And I really want to play in the major league one day. Panama City, you know, the Bay County area, they're known for base. This is a baseball town. This sure. is a baseball community. And just looking at a few guys that right now are in the league or getting drafted mm -hmm. into the league, you know, we just had J.J. Blade get his, you know, first start with the Marlins. We had R.J., you know, signing with the Cardinals. We have, you know, another Arnold guy on the Padres. You know, there's, there's players all over the place. What would it mean to you to just kind of be next up? The, the next up guy a few years down the road mm -hmm. to just be that prospect to come out of Bay County and make it to the big leagues. And that would be a dream. Um, you know, I really looked up to uh, JJ Blade, Jaden Rudd, uh, RJ, Lucas. I usually hit with them during the summer and they really set an example for me and what to do in high school and uh, in college. And um, they're, really, they're a big role model to me. You know, I really look up to them and uh, what they do, especially JJ, what he's doing right now. And he's uh, really doing really good in the major leagues right now. And for you, baseball has got to be an all a year round sport. It can't just be a spring sport to stay on top of your game. What is it that you do in the summertime to just keep on top of your game and keep growing your game? During the summertime, uh, I play for a travel team. Um, we travel the world, we travel the whole country. I mean, I've been everywhere, it seems like, this summer playing baseball. You know, I've barely had a couple of days off. Um, you know, we're always traveling, we're always flying places. Um, but it's been a really busy summer, and, uh, you know, it's fun enjoying the game during the whole summer. And for you, how would you compare travel baseball to the high school game? Because it's definitely, you know, it's all baseball, yes. but what is the difference to you of, you know, going out and competing with a travel team versus competing with Arnold? You know, I think during high school, um, I think players tend to uh, play together as a team. And um, I think during travel ball, I think um, people try to get more individual and they try to work on their own stats. And um, I just really like high school ball because you can gel together as a team and you play as a team you know, not the most talented team uh, wins baseball games. It's the team that always wins together and plays together to achieve those uh, wins. And for you, again, you know, third team All-State, a fantastic year as a freshman. The expectations were high. You delivered. How do you stay on top of that? How do you increase from freshman year to sophomore year, the junior year? What is the goal to kind of keep improving and keep getting to the top of the game of high school baseball? I mean, if I think, I think if I keep working and I keep working out and I keep hitting, I keep pitching, I keep throwing, I think I can make each year uh, even better. I think uh, I have goals as myself just to get better every single day. And uh, I think if I keep getting better every day, I think I can achieve those goals. And for you, you're a guy on the mound that just loves, just absolutely tearing up the strike zone, throwing it in there right now. 
I believe, you know, your upper 80s, you know, nearing so, that 90 ball yes. with the fastball. What is your goal in high school? You know, is there a certain mark you're like, I want to get to that mark. Mm -hmm. This is where I want to be with the fastball. What is your kind of goal right now with pitching in high school? Um, last week I hit 90 for the first time. I hit 92 times in a carry North Carolina at USA Baseball. So I think by the end of my senior year, I want to be 95 to 97 miles an hour. I think that really puts me in a good uh, spot for the draft or and for uh, a really good start for college. And for you, when you're not on the mound, you're over there at third, you know, the sure, the sure hand kind of getting ready and tossing the ball over to first. Yes, Do you enjoy and, you know, enjoy batting or pitching? Which would you say is your go-to? Like, when I love the game of baseball, this is what I love to do the most. You know, I really, I love hitting. I mean, honestly, hitting is really fun. You know, I mean, you can perform in big situations, but I think pitching is probably my favorite. You get, you control the pace of the game. You can control what pitches is being thrown next. You always get the baseball in your hand. And uh, I think you really get the most to show off in front of fans. And again, coming back to, you know, it's unique when a player is committing to a big school like Florida before ever playing a single game of high school baseball. The expectations were high. You delivered. How do you keep yourself humble in the sense of, you know, everybody's cheering in the student section, you know, he's a freshman, you right. know, kind of bolstering it. How do you stay humble and know, like, hey, I just got to keep my head down to reach, you know, the ultimate goal? You know, I just keep myself level-headed. I mean, I just try to focus on what's next. Um, I think people can control their ego by what they did in the past. I think if I just keep taking one step at a time, I think, you know, working on your presence and uh, what's going to happen next, you know, these upcoming years and the upcoming weeks of baseball, I think it really uh, keep yourself level-headed and humble. And just to kind of wrap things up, looking ahead, you have three more years of high school baseball. Arnold, off to a fantastic start. You know, freshman year, had a great group of seniors. What is the goal with that team? Do you guys have a sense that, like, hey, Mosley's done this before. They've been a state championship team. We can be that next team from Bay County to really take it to the next level. Do you feel like Arnold in the next few years can be a state championship high school team? Absolutely. I think we can do anything that we set our mind to. Um, every practice we touch the sign in center field that says Hammond Stadium. And Hammond Stadium is where the Final Four is. And I think one of our goals as a team, and our coaches have really made this a priority, is to uh, win a state championship. And I think with the team we have this year and the upcoming years, I think we can absolutely do it. Awesome, man. Well, just to kind of wrap things up, is there anything else that you want to add about this freshman year, moving into sophomore year? Anything else that you'd like to add in particular? Not really. I think for anyone that's watching, I think you can really do anything that you set your mind to doing. If you just keep yourself level-headed and do one step at a time, I think you can achieve anything. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you coming in. This is rising sophomore at Arnold High School, Cooper Moss. Cooper, thanks for yes, coming sir. in, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks.